Oh, That's how you yeah. do it. Welcome back to our channel. And we find ourselves in Albania's hotland. <laughs> no, I don't know where we find This is a Greek and Roman archaeological site. This will be starting this next video of our little Albania series. This is about 40 kilometers north of Flora. And it's called the Apollonia Archaeological Park. If you haven't watched our previous video, we actually landed in uh, Flore with a ferry from Vendisi in Italy. And this is just a continuation of our little journey. And we're going to be here for two weeks in Albania. And then we're going to just keep going east. If all goes according to plan, we're going to overnight here somewhere in the car park. And from here, we'll go to Barat to go check out the town of... A Thousand Windows. Yeah. Okay. But first, ancient sites. Welcome to our channel, we're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through Eastern Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. I think it's a site worth exploring. It's it's very well done. It costs 500 to 600 lek per person, depending on how you buy the tickets. And it's just so well put together and so mm. well preserved. And it's a very large area. The museum itself is small, but the area that you've got to explore here is very, very big. Yeah, it's a really, I think it's well worth mm. it. And I mean, the views that you get from here are just incredible. Yeah, there's a few people around, but <laughs> it's super quiet, actually. We haven't even seen the... All of it yet, but we're gonna keep looking around a bit. Gotta to get to the amphitheater. Oh, across here. Where are we now? <laughs> yes, people, this is what we do to get the shot. <laughs> we don't have a phone crew following us around. Now, I've been told in the past, you know, it's quite cheesy if you walk towards your own camera because we know you put it down. How else am I supposed to get the shot? But the point is, we gotta tell the story somehow. And, and we wanna show you the amazing sights. Obviously, we bring the camera down and walking past it. But I don't think anybody thinks that there's magic the, film crew. This is what we do, but this is why we have to be fit so we can do this for you people. <laughs> you have to appreciate the effort we put in to create this magic. So smash a like button. And subscribe. And send us a comment. Now, there are quite a lot of parts of this area that you can explore without paying for the entrance fee, but I would definitely recommend paying. I think it's well worthwhile. And also take a look on the website because there's a free day every month. So if you really want to come for free, see if you can get that day. I think that's a wrap for us. Let's get back to the van. Hopefully tonight we have a more peaceful night. Oh, I can do some sleep. Because <laughs> tomorrow it's a long drive all the way to Barat. All right, see you guys later. Good night. Just like that, we're in Berat. First taste of the Albanian roads and uh, mm, early days, but so far very positive. But we found this little stop here. Actually, just a parking, a paid parking. Parking area, so there's no services, but supposedly it is looked after. Super there was a security empty. guy here when we arrived and it costs five euros per night to overnight. Yeah. Otherwise, it's also hourly parking and also for cars. Now, Berat is about 120 kilometers from Tirana, it's 2,300 years old. It's known um, as the city of a thousand windows. On a steep hillside, the traditional houses are all built by double story. From the valley of the town, you look up and you see all these windows. As I'm looking over past the camera over there, I can see it now. Right. We're going to go try some Albanian food and see the beautiful town. Stay safe, Millie. Be right back, Millie. What did you say this one is? 
I say? did not realize that ice cream was going to be so cheap in Albania. Oh, this ice cream is always a piece of head. Wait, you're going to hide behind it. <laughs> Find me between the ice creams. Okay, good. 100 lek, which is less than a euro, for two scoops of ice cream and an amazing sugar cone. Now yeah. that's good value. Okay, I feel a bit bad. I'm eating ice cream again. Mm. What are you going to do about it? But I don't feel bad. Somebody buy us an ice cream. And look at the setting. Mamma mia. So behind us, you can see some of these amazing... Don't go off the oh. camera. Ooh. Wow. Windows. Mm. Wow. Cool little bridge. You feel the movement? No, not really. So we're standing on this bridge. This is not the first bridge it was built. The first bridge is the Gorica Bridge. It's a stone bridge on the far side, which connected these two regions. So this is Gorica which is the Christian side. And then this side is the traditionally Muslim side. with the castle area at the top, which we'll explore later, not tomorrow. So UNESCO World Heritage Site, it's a very, very popular tourist destination. It's even good for day tripping from Tirana. Everything's so close in Albania. I think we've realized that. Yeah. But uh, this place is cheaper ice cream than Budapest. <laughs> <laughs> a strange observation after only three days in Albania so far, there's a lot of things that's considerably cheaper than what we found in Italy. Like ice cream. Ice cream. Fuel is quite a bit cheaper. Even snacks, pastries, things like that, bread, basic pastries. Basic food, like takeaway snacks, even restaurants, like basic local restaurants. Mm. Cheap. But so far, groceries, it's really expensive. Uh, I did some research from what I've read. Uh, Albanian people don't shop on a big scale. At supermarkets. Supermarkets, they buy more local, more regularly more from specific uh, suppliers like a butcher or a fruit and veg vendor mm. or a baker. I prefer they produce fresh. Produce much fresher, exactly. I think you've got to make your mind shift also. You can't expect to buy your prosciutto and your <laughs> no. green paste on your mortadella. You know, well, you can. you can. You're going to pay three times the price of Italy, though. So you have to think what is local. Eat the local cheese, eat the local bread, and you'll be fine. Oh, we just popped into this very well-known restaurant mm -hmm. here. Called the uh, Antigoni. Antigoni. Now, there have been so many recommendations for this place, but to be honest, it just looks like such a tourist trap. There is, you're not going to find a local in here, not a chance. Yes, there's a beautiful view, but it's so formal. It's funny how sometimes I think, oh, we've got to just give these things a try. Let's go have a look and see. But the minute you walk in there, it just feels so stiff. And I don't you feel uncomfortable almost. It's just not our style. It's a beautiful, beautiful setting. If you do decide to come to this restaurant, I'm sure you're not going to make a mistake. View is world class and food is apparently pretty good. So, we're gonna venture up this hill into Gorica. I'll have to stop filming because this video is gonna get out of control. Where are we going? I have no clue. Hey, look, tonight is full. Hello. Hello. I just found this place on Google Maps. I just had a look and hoped we could come here. It said really good local traditional food, but unfortunately they're already fully booked, which have I can you, completely understand. Have you made Lily there, no? <laughs> Thank you, so it's beautiful, well. beautiful. So no, no problem, we will come best. back and try we'll again. Thank, Thank you so you much. Here. Keep well. Bye. 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 Oh, he's so sweet. Wow, wow. what a nice man. All right, well, struck mm. up at Lily, but so. If you are here, come and make a reservation early for this place. So we're sitting in a... I'm not quite sure where we're sitting, actually. Lisa Pickett's restaurant. I got myself a very cool corn local beer. I got I'll myself a glass around to you. of local red wine. Ooh, I, I'm very curious as to, to what it tastes like. <laughs> the same as what that guy was telling us about all the different jams. Slightly acidic. If you go to a supermarket and you try and buy a bottle of wine, it's like, whoa, oh, it's quite pricey. It's like a lot more expensive than in Western Europe. But yeah, uh, it's 1,200 to 1,500 to 1,700 leg for a bottle. This yeah. glass was 100 leg. It that tastes like it's been made in someone's basement. It probably has, actually. There's a lot of homemade it's, wine. Mm, it could very well be. It's can definitely got a homemade. Now you can get a half a liter That's interesting. of wine for 300 leg. Not bad, actually. Oof. Not right, cheers, guys. <laughs> First day in Verrat. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to explore more. And we're going to get some food and we'll see how the evening goes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's great. I'm just going to wait for Lisa to um, 
take all the photos. Finish the photo session, and then she will explain to us what we're eating. We know what we're doing. I think one of the most traditional and side dishes is the stuffed pepper with rice. There's also a stuffed eggplant version, which we couldn't get. On this side, we have baked yogurt with lamb, also very, very traditional. And then for our third dish, which it's called an Albanian traditional dish, which is tomatoes, peppers, and cottage cheese. Whoa. All right. Well, and there's some uh, local there's bread. Some bread. This looks like the same bread we got this morning from the baker. <laughs> All right, let's duck in. All right, let's try the yogurt dish quicker. That is delicious. So this that is... is exquisite. Oh my word, that is good. Mm. <laughs> Let me just get another one of those. <laughs> I have to admit, the lamb was scrumptious. It sounds like you drag your <clears throat> weedy suitcases up a hill. But I'm going to try the stepper quickly. It's actually stuffed with rice and served with more rice, amazingly. I'm quite a fan of a, of a nice mm. pepper, and these are obviously baked peppers. And it's got like a flavoured rice with it. Oh, that's nice. Is it good? Almost tastes a little bit like a paella rice in a soft baked. You're losing your rice. I don't. I'll try the Albanian stew. Okay, so this one is more quite too cheesy, very different to the yogurt. Interesting. And it's very peppery. Really? Mm. It's just a little bit spicy, but mostly temperature hot. Nice. Ooh, but this has got red and green peppers. Ooh, very tasty, but yes. something you can have with it. I think I definitely need a piece of that. <laughs> this dish was also 300 leg, and the yogurt and lamb was 600 leg. So that's roughly 6 euro, 3 euro, and 3 euro. These are licking the balls. <laughs> Good night, Barat. <laughs> We're striking out here on night three in Albania, and now it's two bad nights versus one good one. It was nice and quiet except for the road, and then around 12 o'clock at 11.30, the maniac started spinning wheels. You can see the evidence here. And we were sprayed with rocks and stones. I mean, look at this situation, yeah. Um, like all this dust, it was yeah. just absolute chaos. I had this like vision of cameras destroyed and all our lights are gone. Well, luckily it luckily looks like the lights are intact. Yeah. I was afraid that these guys were going to actually crash into us. They were spinning so out of control. Four cars it was going absolutely, absolutely berserk, chaotic. Yeah. Security guy here now, he's just come to ask us also what happened, happened yeah. last night. Yeah. And you can see the vehicle that they left here last night. The tires are the destroyed. Tire. And it seems like this is an ongoing problem here because you seem to know exactly what had happened. Yeah, and he apologized profusely. No idea what we're gonna do tonight. If we're gonna No, we might not stay here. Yeah, we we'll, might move. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna set off now. We're gonna quickly go up to Main Street, grab a berek. There's a nice bake that we saw last night. We're gonna go up to the the, uh, the castle section. It's nice and early. They're forecasting some rain around noon, so we're gonna take a couple of hours to go check it out. Okay. Yeah. You got the yeah. Okay. All right. Alright. Wow. Yeah, wait, stop quickly. Okay. Five seconds later, Lisa got her first massive berek. This is berek. what I love about a place. When you walk mm. and you just see the fresh, oh my god, they are fresh, fresh out the oven. You Yo. see the locals eating them from a place that looks like a window and they're even cheaper. This is 50 and 60. And you just know it's going to be a bit good. That's and 50 and 60 euro cents, guys. Less yeah. than. The top one is cheese. And the bottom one is yeah, yours. It's super light, actually. Wow. Good okay. break to you now. This is this is a break. Not exactly healthy breakfast, break. but what the heck? Mm. 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 Crispy, fresh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. This one's got like a minced lamb, I think, in here. Not mm. a lot, just a little bit. Oh wow, so crunchy and fresh. Mm. <laughs> I, I approve. That's 
Okay, go in. <laughs> yeah, we did uh, hit a little bit of a touristy spot, obviously. I want to peek through, yeah. Oh, no, we're going to go to the top. You can check there, I'm going to go. Check out the view. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, yes. It's actually surprising. Now, people do live here. This is what makes this area quite unique, because people actually still live in this space. So it's open 24 hours a day. Now, seasonally, they do charge for access, but it's like 100 lek, just to control uh, the amount of people coming through here. And that's where we came from, all the way in the bottom. Oh, it's so cool, looking at the castle wall. Instagram action. I like it. Ooh. Okay, this is <laughs> Don't fall through the hole. Holy smokes, okay. What is it? I also want to see. Yo. Wait, I'm coming in too. It's very high and very dangerous. <gasps> Just my kind of place. <laughs> this is an old water system down here. I am very nervous standing here and I don't <gasps> mind heights. Okay, I don't think I should take the final step. Mm. Baby, please be mm. careful. Oh my god, that's I like a... I don't mind heights, but... Whoa. I'm gonna fall like, more like my camera's gonna fall down here. Into the abyss that is ancient water system. Wow, it's cool. You feel the coolness coming The coolness yeah. is incredible. Be careful as you turn around. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah. It's a lot of these very nerve-wracking places, baby. No. Anyway, you shouldn't be. Don't do it. What's your foot? Huh? Always the faith. You make me so nervous. Those guys, the crazy people on the tower. <sighs> Not sure that's the intention. But you should be sitting. Beautiful view of the mountains there. Eh? Snow in the background. I don't think I'm picnic up there. You can actually hear the river and the. What? Nice. Wow. Well, I think we've seen about as much of this place as we can. If we can make it out alive, we're gonna go find a coffee. Or an ice cream. And an ice cream. We're gonna end Barat the way we start mm -hmm. Barat. But that's quite a busy place over weekends, but it's quite special. It's well worth making the, the journey out here. Now, good ice cream. Cheers. And we from here we're heading further south. We, we still got lots to come in Albania. We're gonna get to the coast now. Yeah, we're gonna probably take a day off uh, just to relax a little bit and then go explore some beaches. Hopefully the weather's gonna hold. So if you guys like what you see and you wanna follow our adventures, hit that subscribe button. It takes two seconds and really helps us out. And smash the like button and leave us a comment if uh, you have some questions. Otherwise we'll see you next next time. See you next Cheers. time. Yes. Ooh, so good. Oh.